the main topic is what function okay insert function will go for go to what is this go to is doing it okay so for example okay uh, there are like a couple of statement guys okay how this function started okay that is what i'm gonna be telling to you okay look i'll just tell you the demonstration for you there is a code of line okay this is a code of line okay i wanted to rewrite this one again the people used to do it what this they used to re write it again and again if this is the line they used to write it again if they want it again they used to write it again this line same line they used to write it again if i want to use this again one more time line uh, they used to write it again one more time right if they wanted to they were like okay with one or two or three times they were okay with that they were happy with that okay then the next generation came a lazy generation they thought why i should write it rewrite it again and again the same code why can't I, you know, put this in a blog? Okay, why can't why can't I put this in a blog? So as that, I will put this in the blog. If I wanted this code, if I wanted this code, I will call this blog, right? To recognize this blog, I will give a name. You know, A B C. I will tell it some name. I will give it that is called as a label, right? To differentiate between this blog and a name, I will use an operator called as what? Colon operator. I use it to differentiate it with the blog. So differentiate it with the blog and a name. I will give it what? Colon operator. Now, instead of whenever you need this line, whenever you need this line, instead of this line, instead of this one, you just tell A, B, C. Instead of this line, you just tell A, B, C. Now you need to use one keyword called as, so how it will go to here, okay? So is that a variable or is that a, what, what is this, okay? It can be anything, right? It can be anything. So to understand that, they use one keyword called as go to, you can use it, go to. So when I go to A, B, C, it will go for A, B, C, and it will rewrite this line again. So whenever I want this line, I just like go to go to ABC to tell it or rewrite it. Understood this one? This concept. Understood, understood, yes, understood. Now what happens is for example, like this. Okay, so for example, I'll go for the programming. I will go for the <clears throat> okay. Now what I'll do is now is for example, I wanted this line. Okay, so for example, I wanted this line. Print def, I wanted this one. MIP, WDP, right? MIP. MIP I wanted, and again, I wanted uh, this uh, uh, printf, I wanted uh, WEB, I wanted, and later on, I wanted this one, printf, I wanted what? Uh, skill I wanted, okay? Skill I wanted, okay? This is what I wanted. Now, if I run this program, right? When I run this program, what I'll do it now? What I'll do it now? I'll just say that's MIP web skill, right? This is what I wanted. Right? Now, if I wanted this line again and again, this line again and again, I wanted it. Okay, so for example, um, yeah, this line I, I need it again and again. What I'll do it now? I will put up this one in a block. Okay, I'll put up this one in a block now. For example, I'll put up this one entire thing in a block. Right? I'll put up this one in a block. Now, what I'll do it now? I will give a name for this. I'll give what? A name for this. For example, a name I'll just like ABC. To differentiate between the name and a block, I'll put it as a colon operator. Right? Now, can I give a name for this this thing? Yes, I can give it. Take okay? it. So I can give it for a block. Right? Not only block, guys. I can even give it for a statement also. I'll not tell it block. Okay. Let's let me start with a statement. Right? I can give a name for the statement also. I just tell as uh, I, I just tell as MIP, MIP block. I just tell as MIP statement. I'll tell it like this here. I want web block. I'll give a web statement. I'll tell it. Now I want it skill bot, skill skill dot. I'll just a skill block. I'll tell it. Any name you can give it. Right? If you're on this program, no problem. But what is the use of this one? I can use it something like this. I can jump it. Okay, so you can use a jumping statement called as go to, right? Instead of this line, okay, instead of this line, instead of go to MIB, MIB, instead of printing this line, you can tell us go to web, you can tell it. Right? Go to web, you can tell it, right? Semicolon. When it will go to web, it will finish this one, it will go to web and it will finish this one. Now instead of instead of going to this line, instead of going to this line, you can tell go to MIP now here. Go to MIB, you can tell it, right? Now this MIP, MIP is like executing this one. So after execution of this one, I can tell it here. Go to, go to, I will tell it something like this. Go to, go to skill level, tell it. Take it, go to skill level, tell it. Take it. This is how I'm going to be doing it. I will, I, I know, under change this execution. MIP web skill was there, no? I'll change this execution style now. So when I, when I do this one, what will happen now? You can see this one now. Go to web, it will go to web now. It's jumping it, right? So again, it is coming to your go to MIP. It means it is going to MIP now. Right, it is going to move and is executing. Go to skill means it's jumping, it is skipping this and it is jumping to skill now. Understood what is the concept of uh, this one? Go to is right later on. They thought, okay, can I give the name for the variable? For example, like this. Okay, so if you have it like this, int a equals to 10, right? Int a equals to 10. Can I give a name for this this one? For example, a uh, a b c only or okay. Can I give the name for this one? So if I run this program, 
yes i can give it but 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 when i when i want to use this for example if i tell it something like this i just tell as go to after print i just as abc if i tell it again abc if i tell it uh, if i tell abc it will go to here and oh, it is creating a uh, recursion thing okay no problem <laughs> now i'll just tell you what is that what, what happened i will tell you it is a trap okay so it is just like you know it is never ending thing so you can also create a looping also here you can really create a looping here i will not uh, burn your head in that much but i'll i'll be a very simple person here for you okay so you can give you know like name for any of these statements if you have a statement if there is a statement you can give a name for that that is what the labeling thing is so to know the labeling you need to have what colon operator then what they thought is not only a name on a single statement you can give a name you can give a you know like uh, you know name for the couple of statements for example like this a block of statements you can give it right so what they thought is a cool thing they thought okay so i'll erase this one Let's erase this one. What they thought was something like this. Yes, I'll come here and I'll, I'll do this one here. What they thought was, okay, why can't I give a name for entire block, right? Why can't I give a name for entire block? Let me check it out. This is this is an entire block, right? This is an entire block now. What I'll do it now in the inside block, for example, I'll put up this one in a block. I'll put up this one in a block. I'll put up this one entire thing in a block, and I'll give a name for this one, right? I'll give a name for this one. For example, I'll just say like A B C or type. And to differentiate it, I'll tell a colon operator, right? Now here, what I did was here I'll, I'll keep it simple here, or, or else I wanted to keep it skill. Okay, okay, I'll keep it skill also. For example, I'll just uh, skill or tell it, and I'll keep it here now here, right? Uh, mm -hmm, uh, I'll just tell it as something like this. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what I'll do it now here. Uh, I'll just uh, go to skill or tell, go to skill or tell. Just for your understanding, go to skill or tell. I'll jump to the go to skill. It'll print this one and after printing this one and then i go to go to abc what happens here is look on here when it will go to abc it will go to abc here it will print it will it will use this variable and does that mip and web and again it will come to your print skill it will tell it again go to abc this will create looping this will create infinite times got it to avoid this what i'm going to do is now is i'll just write it one thing here go to end of it go to end of it simple simple thing i can also avoid it in another way also but i'll avoid it in this way so I'll take one n variable, n one, and I'll tell like print. I'll just as print it. I'll just as the end of it. A simple program I'm, I'm just telling to you. Okay. So I'll run this program. What happens now is now what happens is now you can see this one now. What is happening? It will it will come to go to skill. It will go to go to skill skill. And it will tell ABC. It will go to ABC. Entire block is there. Look, this is very important for me. You need to understand this one. This one block. Okay. You look on here, there is a block here. There's a block, couple of statements. There, inside the block, you have a couple of statements. You have declared the variable also. It is you define the variable also, and you have written some statements also, right? Like one, two, three, four statements, you have it. So it will execute this one in TA and MIP also to learn web also and end also is there. Metal end, it will come to here and it'll tell the printer. So how many number of times go to ABC you can call it? It so many number of times it will execute it. ABC you're calling hundred times, it will execute hundred times, like that is right. Right, right, right. This when it will go to end, will end, 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 end. Understood so much. Understood so much. This is very important for me. So I'll copy this one and I'll paste it to here. So this is the content now. This is the main content. Take okay? This is the main content. Just go through this. Go through this. Go through this. Just go through this. This is what you don't understand. Look, this is what the main content is. Now you got to know about the go to, right? What is this go to is doing? So it is jumping it, right? So this is like a call for uh, this one go to abc means this is like a call here you are calling it right calling calling it is going on here it is going on here and here again you are calling go to end like this so you're just instructing it so it's like in a home you know like parents will tell right go to school go to college go to tuition go to temple right okay now listen up listen up listen up listen up listen up, listen up, here, listen up here okay now what the thought is okay what the thought is okay so this is a beautiful block right this is a beautiful block when i tell this one go to abc when i tell this one go to abc when i tell this one go to abc what will happen now it will go to abc how many times i can do it now i can do it like this like anything you can do it there's some drawbacks with it so when i tell go to abc it will be same thing the ABS value will be 10, uh, this one's value will be made, this one's value, this one, same thing, it will be there. What they thought is in your future, what they thought is in your future, right? So next generation, what they thought, right? This was fixing it. The redundancy was fixing it here itself, right? But what they thought was in your future was something like this, guys. Why I want to keep this value as constant itself? Can I pass a value for this block? 
for this block, for this, there is a block here, this instruction is going on. Can I pass a value? Okay, passing a value, right? Can I pass a value for this? For this block, can I pass the value? And if I pass the value, if I pass the value, if I'm passing it something, I'll be expecting something. Can I have a written type? Okay, can I have a written value? R E T U R N. This is what they thought is. These are the two things they thought it. Those are two things they updated. That's all it is, nothing else. Okay. Now, how do we do this updating? For example, like this. Okay, there is a block here. There is a block here. There's a statements here. For example, you have it int a equals to 10 itself, or else whatever it is, int a is equal to 10, whatever it is, no problem with that. Right? Or else I'll just say as int a is equal to 10. I'll just say as print, I'll tell it. Print something, you will tell it. Print something, you will tell it. And here also, you will tell us print something, you will tell it, right? Now, what I thought is for this block, you will give a name, same thing, ABC only give it. This much, everything is same thing. Everything is same thing. What they thought is to pass a value, I will use something called as parenthesis. Okay, I will write it in another, other, other, other line. I'll use it what parenthesis. Here, I can pass something called as what arguments. For example, I can pass a value here. For example, if I want int, I will just say as int x, I will tell it. INT Excel. I'll just say as arguments for you. I'll just I'll, I'll just complete to you. Okay. I'll just say as int Excel. Right. So if I want to return something, I'll just return it. R E T U R and return A into A. I will tell it. When I tell A into A, okay. When I tell A into A, A into A will be what 100. Right. For, for this one, 100 will be. So what is the 100? 100 type is integer type. So I want to mention this one. I want to mention what type of block in this block. What is returning it? So that's the reason I'll tell a return type here. Here I will tell it, it return type. Now what I'll do it now is this is called as this one is called as a return type. This one is called as a return type, and this is called as arguments. This is called as arguments, and this is called as returning returning the things, returning the things. What are the things you want to return? You, you using a return keyword, you can return the things for you. So that is what it is. Now how do you call this function? For example, you are calling go to like this ABC like this. So that is what it is going to here. I want to go to ABC. It is going to here now. For this function, how do you call it? You just need to tell function name and what is the value you want to pass it. For x, I'll just tell as like three, I will tell it. When I pass three, this is going to here now. X th three, it will happen. Now, instead of telling here 10, instead of telling 10 here, I'll just like what? X, I will tell it. Now, what will happen now? Now, it becomes generic, right? Now, three, three, it will go X, A will become what? X. Now, what will happen now? A is what? Three, three into three is what? Nine. It will return nine here. Now, I can tell like A, B, C, I will tell it. And instead of four, I will tell it, right? When I tell four, what will happen now? It will go to here. X will become what four? I'll tell that X is equal to what a? It will print all those things and it'll tell a into a. Four into four is what sixteen. Sixteen will return it. Now what happens now? This becomes dynamic in nature. Now this becomes what dynamic in nature. The simple thought of a function came into here. Now what they thought? What later on? What they told us? What they told us? This one, this one is just an option. This entire entire thing you have it here, right? It's an option. You don't want to give it compulsorily because you look on here. It was created by here. Right, it might be, it might not be. That's the reason it is option. And again, this one also, this part is also option. This part is also what option for you. Means option means here, if you are not written, this part means this part is option for you. Returning anything from this block is an option for you. It's not compulsory, right? Like like this only. Look here, you are not returning anything or not, you are passing it. This becomes what option for you. So if you want an option here, you need to write it what? If it is not returning anything, this block is not returning anything, you will use your powerful keyword. What is a powerful, powerful data type? You will use it void type. If you're not passing anything from a block, you use it what? Void type. Understood so much confusion? Any confusion, guys? Guys, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Okay. Now, what is this function is? Okay, function is. What is function? Function is nothing but what? Function is nothing but you have certain certain things, guys. Okay, so you have many things to tell it, right? So I'll just tell it. Function is nothing but what? Function is nothing but a set of instructions, set of instructions, plan, packed within a block, packed within a what block? I just tell it a set of instructions which is packed inside the block. To use a block, you use it flower bracket. To recognize this block, you will have function name. You will give a name, and that name is called as function name. 
For this block, you can pass the arguments. Passing arguments is option. To pass the argument, you will have something called as a parenthesis. Since you can pass n number of arguments, that argument should be packed. That's the reason you will use it for parenthesis. Right? And passing argument is what? Optional for you. But writing parenthesis is compulsory. Now, after receiving the arguments, after receiving all this, it will perform some operation and it can return a value from a function. And returning a value from a, to return a value from a function, you'll use a return keyword. Right? Return keyword, you'll use it. And returning a value from a function or, of, or, or that particular block is just an option. If you don't want to return anything from a, you know, like function, you will write it what void keyword, right? You'll use it what void. Now, if you don't return it, if you don't mention the type and you're returning it by default in 32 bit compiler, it will be integer. In 16 bit compiler, it will be void type. It will be void type. Got it? Okay. Then what's the beauty of function? The beauty of function is only once you call, it will get executed. Then only it will get executed. Simply it will not execute it. Function function it will not execute. You have to call for a function. And this is called as calling a function. Function name and the arguments if you have it. Right? Function also can be declared. That also I'll show you how to declare that is everything. So this is what you need to understand this so much. Okay, so what is this function? Set of instructions, black pack in the form of block in the form of block okay so where you can send a value for a, a value for that block particular block just of the function name just of the word function name so the, passing a value for a block is not compulsory it's not mandatory so you can pass though you can pass it n number of zero to n number of arguments zero to n number of arguments of any type of any type of any type. So if you don't want to pass any arguments, you just leave the parenthesis as empty. Now from that block, you can return something. You can return something from the block. That is called as what? Return type. By using what? Return keyword. Whatever the data you are returning it, the same thing will be what? Return type intervention. You need to mention what? Return type. Just before the function name. You want to mention the return type just before the function name. Returning a value from a function is not mandatory. Not mandatory. If you're not returning, you will just return like what? Void type. In whichever the program you go, you have five types of function. Okay, you have how many types of function? Five types of function. First one is okay. What, what, what do you have? Five types of function. You have it. First one is five type. In five ways, you can write a function. Five ways. Okay, five ways. What are the five ways? First one is First one is like this with respect to, you know, like arguments and, uh, you know, like, like this, I'll tell, I'll just, I'll, I'll tell like this, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, one. That means here it is, uh, you know, like uh, I'll just as a return type, I'll tell it and I'll tell it, arguments, I'll tell it. I'll just tell it like this, no return type, no return type, no arguments. First one, right? Second one is, second one is what? With return type no arguments no arguments third one is what third combination is what uh no return type with arguments with arguments okay fourth one is what with return type with return type with arguments what is the fifth one guys what is the fifth one fifth one is a recursion okay fifth one is what recursion so this is what you're gonna be doing it now. Recursion, I'll not do it now. Later on, at last I'll do it. Recursion. Let's do this four things. Let's deal with these four things. Okay. Now I'll go to here. I will be just dealing with these four things. Okay. So I'll be just not writing it. Okay. So I'll just write it like this. So every difference I will give it to here only. Okay. Now I'll do it now. I'll write a function now. How to write a function now? You just need a block now. Printf and just like uh, I just was, I am mid level. I am mid level. Okay. Uh, and me build it since you have four things i'll just uh, like this me build it and i'll like what uh you know like you need to put it in a block that's the reason i'll put it in a block here i'll put it in a block here right this one for this block you'll give a name for example what is the name you'll get you'll get name me bits no problem so that you can pass a value for this function that's the reason you'll just like this so i'll just do the addition of two numbers guys okay so for a, for a simple understanding of a function i'll just do the two numbers uh, you know addition of two numbers okay 
What I'll do it now. For example, I need to add two numbers uh, so I cannot pass the arguments. First one is what? First one is what? Your first one will be something like this. For a comment, you'll use it uh, slash slash. You will use it slash slash like this. Okay, so what for the first one? No arguments, no arguments, no return type, right? So no argument, no arguments, no return type. That is what the first one you'll be using it here. Okay. Now I'll do it now. Uh, no arguments, no return arguments means you want to no arguments. That's the reason the variable should be here only, like a normal go-to statement. Int a is equals to 10, comma b is equals to 20, right? So you'll come here and it'll print it like this. The value is something like I am MIP. Uh, I just uh, like in one uh, one line statement, I'll put it. I am MIP and I'll put it as like this. Percentage D L L and I'll print it as like this. A plus B L L. Okay. A plus B. Since you don't have a return type, it's written, it's really good to write a return keyword, though you don't have a return type. Whether I'm returning anything is here, whether I'm returning anything here is have a practice of returning a return keyword. Okay. I'm not returning anything. That's the reason. Anything. I'm not returning anything. Anything means what? Nothing, anything. I don't know. I told you this. Whenever this word comes, you'll use it boom, void type. Right. So this is how you're gonna be doing it. So you have created this function. Now, since you have created the function, it doesn't mean that it will execute it. It will not execute it. So the beauty of the function is you need to call the function, right? When you call the function, what happens now? How do you call the function? MIP and I'll call like this. And I'll function name. If you have arguments, you'll tell arguments. If you don't have any arguments, you just tell the parenthesis and close it. So when I run this program, you're getting some warning. You're getting some warning. I'll clear about that warning. What will get it now? I am MIP and the value is what? 30. So 30 is getting it. You're getting the problem. But there is something, some problem. What is this now? Implicit declaration of function. You need to declare a function, right? You need to declare a function. That is what you're going to be doing it here now, right? So what is the function declaration? You will do it now here. You will do it something like this. What's the return type, please? What's the return type? Void, you will tell it. Void is a return type because this function is below the main function. If the function is below the main function, you need to declare it above the main function. Or else you need to define, a main, define it or you need to declare it. If you're not defined, you need to declare it. So how do you declare the that method is something like this MIP and you'll open this and I'll close this and we'll double this. This is called as declaration. Okay, this is called as what? Declaration. Right? This is called as declaration. Same as in a variable. I'll compare with the variable in TA semicolon. It's called as what? What is this called as declaration? This is declaration of a variable. This is declaration of a variable. And what is this called as declaration of a function? Right? Now, what is this called as? What is this entire thing is called as? This entire thing is called as this entire thing is called as. Look on there. This entire thing is like this. Int uh, mm, you'll just less b is equals to you know 20. You will tell it, right? What is this one called as? This is called as variable, variable definition, right? Variable definition. So this entire thing is called as what? This entire thing is called as a variable uh, function definition. Function definition. Whatever function definition, look on here. Variable you as a declaration also, you as a value also. This is called as declaration here to here. You have put a semicolon here. Right, and the defining is this one. This flower bracket, it has been defined. It, it has given a meaning for a MIP, MID. That is called as definition. It is right now. How do you call the function? This is how you call the function, right? So this is how you call the function. This is called as what? Calling a calling a function, right? Just like this. Okay, so you know, like you have a variable here. You have a variable here. You just tell it as like this. You just tell it as like a. So you're calling a variable a. Right, and we'll get the value for you. So the same same way you'll get it onto it. Okay. So that is what I want to tell you. So you understood this one? And if I run this program and I run this program, you could do see this, the warning is gone, and you have it like this. Right? Right, right, right. And this function is called as what? No arguments and no return type. Now, next one is what is that next one? Next one is what? With return type. I'll just say like uh, with the return type and uh, no, sorry, with the arguments with arguments no written type no written type how does no with arguments and no written type i'll just write out you know like uh, uh, you know like uh, statement or i write the statement now print i just write print f i just write like uh, web very direct okay uh, like i just write like i am web very direct okay that will write it so i'll give the new line here that's all so i'm going to put up this one in the blog that's the reason i'll use it for flower bracket when i write a flower bracket when there's a function you got another function i will write return no matter whatever I do it, okay, whether I'm returning or not returning, I'll write a written keyword. So what I'll do it now here, I'll give a name for this function. That's the reason I just love that. So this is not a good statement. This is a function. In function, what is important? Parenthesis is important. It's telling that with arguments. What are the arguments you have written inside here? I will tell with argument. That's the reason I'll just write int a comma int b. I will create a local variable over here. The scope of this variable is within the block. The scope of this variable, you have two arguments now, int a and int b. As I told you, you can have a number of a number of you know like arguments. 
you can have a number of arguments for you, a number of, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, inside the parenthesis, you can have a number of arguments to problem with that, okay? So you have created two things, in K and in P, right? Now what you want to do it now, it is not returning anything. So you need to print it here itself. So that's the reason I'll go here and I'll just sell it like this. I'll uh, like this person is D alter and I'll come here and I'll put it as A plus B alter, okay? What is it returning it? It is not returning anything. That's the reason I'll do it, what? Void type. So this function, this is a function, it need to be called, right? This need to be called. So I'll do that web. So when I pass the arguments, okay, when I pass the argument, it need to be called, guys. So that I'll pass it, what? 10 and 20, I'll pass it like this here. Instead of passing here, 10 and 20, I'll pass it from here. 10 comma 20. So what is the beauty of this one? So whenever I want to call it, I can change my values and I can call it. So that is what the updated version is, right? 10 comma 20. But when I when I do this one, it will get an error because it will get some warning because the web is below the main function. That's the reason what I'll do it now. I'll do something called as a function declaration. What's the return type? What is the return type? What's the main function name? Web. And what are the arguments you have? How many arguments you have? Two arguments you have. What are the type? I just want to mention the type over it. Int, comma, int. If you mention the variable, also no problem. But if you mention the type, that's more than enough. Int and int, that's more than enough. Right? So if I run this program, what will happen now? What will happen? I am 30 and I am 30. Ticket, 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 ticket. Ticket. Now what I'll do it now? What I'll do it now? The same thing in Python, guys. Same thing in Java. Same thing in C++. Same thing in all the language. Right? I like slight changes. We'll do that. Ticket. Right? Next one is what is? Next one is what is? Next one is something like this. Uh, no arguments, no arguments with return type. It's a mazai alaga. With return type. What will do it now? You'll write one statement. For example, like this printf is as I am skill alter. I am skill alter. Okay? I am skill. All right, I'm skill TK. I'm skill. I'll write it and I'll write it like this. So since it's a statement, I'll put in a block. Since it's a statement, I'll put in a block. When it's a block, since I'm doing the function, I'll write it what? Return keyword. R E T U R and return. Whether I'm returning it or not, I'll just write it a return keyword. To recognize this block, I wanted to give a name. That's the reason I'll give a name called one beautiful name. I'll give it. I'll just write a skill out there. So that I can pass some values for this block. That's the reason I'll put what parenthesis. Passing values option for me, right? A parenthesis, I want to write it now. Now I'll do it now. No arguments. That I have it. You have no arguments. That's the reason I want to create a local variable over here. Int a equals to 10 alter and b is equals to 20 alter. I just wanted to show the difference of it. So it is setting the with return type. So while returning only, I will tell us a plus b alter. I'll tell you a plus b. What will all happen? A plus b. A is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. A plus b will become what? 30. 30. I want to return it. What is the type of 30? What is the type of 30? What is the data type of 30? integer type that's the reason it is a primitive and it is an integer type i'll write it integer type of it right now i want to call this function that's the reason i'll call this function i'll call this function look on your beauty beauty here look on it i'll call this function you are not calling with the arguments that's the reason you'll call this function but while calling the function it will not print everything here it will not get print everything over here right so i just i'll remove the skill and i'll just put it like this here okay so it is returning to here the skill is written the skill has a value called as 30 now how do I get it now? 30 is return type is what is? What is the return type of 30? Integer. Integer format for square is what? Percentage D. I'll put it like this here now. And put a comma here. And I'll write a slash in it. Okay. Now this statement should be put up in where it is printf statement. I'll just have a printf statement I'll tell it now here. I'll put up a printf statement. So what will happen now? Skill you are calling it is going to here. Skill you are calling skill. It is going to here. It is telling local variable 10 and 20. I am skill, it will tell it. I it will return. A plus B, what is A plus B? 10 plus 20 is 20. It is returned to here. 30, it is returned to here. And this 30 will be printed in the form of what? Decimal number. Right? Decimal number. So I'll run this program. But there is a warning. There is a warning. What I need it now? I want to declare the function. How do I declare the function? What is the return type? It is the return type. What is the function name? Skill is the function name. No arguments. So I'll keep it like this itself. So when I run this program, when I run this program, can you see this one, guys? I am web 30. I am web 30. And I am skill 30. Right, right, right. Last one is last one, last one, last one. Last one is what is last one is what? What is last one? Last one is last one is last one is uh with the uh, return type with arguments with arguments with return type. Take care with return type. So I'll do it now. All the mixtures now, right? So I'll I'll write it like this only. I'll I'll come here and I'll write one statement. Print type, I'll tell it. What I'll do it now? I'll just as BYU tip out, I'll tell it, and I'll slash it or something like this, right? So I'll go for here like this. Uh, so this uh, is I am about I am about to get it again. Now, uh, since it is a statement, I'll put in a block. 
right? Since I'm going with function, I'll put in a block. When it is function, I'll close my eyes and I'll write a quote, written keyword, or your written keyword. I want to recognize this block. That's the reason I'll give a name for this. That's a name called as one pout. In your future, I can pass the values for this uh, block. It's completely option, but to pass the values, you use it parenthesis. Now, in my case, you have arguments, right? So how many arguments you'll pass it? You'll pass it two arguments. Int a comma, int b will pass it. Now, after doing this, it will receive this int a and int b. You don't want to create any local variable. You'll create this and you have to return it. So I'll return it. Now you'll return a plus b will return it. Since you have written type, you will return a plus b. What is a plus b? Integer type, right? So that's the reason I'll write what integer over here, right? Now I want to call this function. I want to call this function. I know this. I want to call this function. I'll write like out and there. Now it, it need to pass the arguments. That's the reason I'm just less 10 comma 20 I'll tell it. Now after passing this one, it will come to here. It will, a will become 10 and B will become 20. It will print it. I am bout colon. I'll come to here. A plus B. It is returning A plus B to here bout. Right? This bout should print that value. To print that integral value, you use it which format is for is percentage D. So yeah, it is separated by two things, and this data should be given in which which function is print a function, and that is how you're going to be doing it. Now, since it is this function is uh, declared below the main function, I want to, what I want to do it, I want to declare that. How do I declare that? Return type and function name. I will do like int comma int return. Take it and I'll put it in code. And I'll run this program. Can you see this guys? All the same thing, but this is how it is. Take it.